Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden. And recently, while in uh, listening to Randy Brown's Coffee Talk in the morning um, from Thunder Horse Descendant, one of the girls said that she had been having a lot of requests for anklets, but she'd never made one. So she wanted to have some uh, insight from those of us who have on how to do so. So, you know, it's a simple thing. I, I told her, make it like a simple bracelet and make it nine inches long. That is the basic for an anklet. So let's turn down and we will make an anklet using beads from Thunder Horse Descendants Inspirational Bundle Spiral Bubble Netting. Now, like I said, these are quite simple. It's like making a bracelet, except for it's going to be a rather delicate looking bracelet. Um, I like to make them delicate because most people don't want to wear something big and chunky around their ankle. I mean, they're happy to do it on their wrist, but they really don't want to do it on their ankle. So let's turn down and we will get started on this. So I have got out some white quartz soft flex medium beading wire, and this is what we're going to use to string our beads on. And I'm just going to pull out a bit and put on a... Um, bead stopper and then we're going to string it up well I'm going to do it like I would have from the front where where I connect it here so we're going to have a rice a spacer a rice oh baby spacer and then we're going to put on this uh, blue little um, oval bead from out this is India glass from out of the India glass pack and then we'll of course go backwards and do three do two more pearls And then we're going to put on a uh, starfish. Bing. On it goes. You know what? This doesn't sit in here really well. So I am going to get, I think I have some up here somewhere. Yeah, here's a few some little tiny ball spacers for inside the curve of that starfish. So we'll only need two, one for each side. So see that'll sit in there much better. And then we'll put the spacer on. The rice bead. Spacer, rice bead, come on rice bead, there we go. These are little rice pearls, those are cultured pearls, so they're the real deal, so they're quite pretty little things. Now, if this ends up being too long, we have to make the decision of whether we're going to get rid of a pearl or if we're going to get rid of this little green bead here. It'll, we'll see how long it ends up being when we get there. So this is one side finished. I'm going to put a bead stopper on this side right here. And I really don't need that much, Couple, maybe a couple inches. I know I'm not going to need, I'm fairly positive I'm not going to need any more beads. Uh, though I might need to take some off. But I'm going to cut this right here. So 
So our our uh, this side ended up being four inches, and then our our cord here is almost nine. Now I'm going to set this aside. Get a couple more out, and then I'm going to do the opposite side. Now, I could actually just cut this wire because I know how long we're going to need it. Um, because we just did the other side, I just have to measure it to it. So I am going to do that. And we'll cut it right here. And we can put our wire to the side. We don't need it anymore for right now. So we'll put these up here, get them out of our way. Put a bead stopper on this one side. And then get started on putting our, our uh, anklet together. So it's, the pattern is the seed bead, the spacer, the seed bead. spacer and then the next um the india glass or the starfish whichever we're at that spot so Now I'm watching my starfish making sure that when I go, since this is going to be the opposite side, that the starfish is facing the proper direction that I want it to go. So For a second there I thought I had a pearl knot in here, but it's over there in the silver pieces. Get it out of the silver pieces. Now I'm hoping it won't be too large with this um, green beads and this and the pearls down here, but I suspect it may be. And if it is, we'll have to determine which would be better to come out and I'm probably going to just take out a couple of pearls if that becomes the case now come on last spacer here so. okay so our next step since we've got this done is to take two of our cramp tubes and hook them this baby to our anklet here. So we will take this one and we'll go through our loop, come back up through our crimp tube and pull that up. Now you want to make your crimp be able to move, but not so tight, I mean so loose that you've got a big gap there. So let's get our crimping pliers, and we put the, the crimp tube right in the middle of the pliers and squish. And turn and squish, and do that until it no longer squishes. And we're about there. Give it a tug test. That's good. 
And now, since I know this wire is not going to go twice through our pearls, we will snug this the clippers right up to our, our crimp and cut the excess off. So now we'll plop this this way. Come on, you. And tighten this up down here. So here is our first side in. And now we'll do exactly the same on this side. Putting our crimp tube in. Go through our connector. Over. Through our crimp tube. Make sure she's in there straight and about at the same spot as the other side. It needs to be a little tighter. There we go. Now, you don't need to make these as tight as I do. I'm making it that tight because I am trying to not give us a lot of extra space in here. Tug test and then clip off this extra and slide our beads down. Now, the trick is where are how large are we? So Let's find out. Now see we're at nine inches right now. We don't want to be at nine inches because we still have to put on our crimp, our uh, hardware here. So we'd rather have it at be about eight and a half. So if I take off that last pearl on either side, eight and a half is where we're gonna end up. So that might be just where we want it. But let's use the sizer. You see the anklets down here at nine. And yeah, it's hmm. nine is where this goes right here. Come on, you. We maybe could get away with it, leaving it where it is because, you, as you can see, my I'm gonna I'm gonna live dangerously here for a minute. Put this on the ankle wire. Yeah, see how close we are. If you can see that, we only have like one bead's worth there. It's it's too too close. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take off the last of the pearl, the last pearl and spacer on both sides. And I'm going to crimp this one side. Well, actually, I'm gonna do both, clamp them both. Now what you're wanting as you work on this is your this is your four and a half is your middle point so that's about an inch now we want it to be about i would have liked it to be just a little bit longer than that but i'm not going to uh, you know further out because i would want these on the back of your ankle and this on the front but i think it's going to be close enough so i'm not going to worry about it so the next step, of course, is to uh, crimp on our hardware here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the crimp tubes and one 
of the jump rings. Now I'm going to have this side over here be the, the attachment side. So we will pull this up tight. And then we're going to crimp it on this side right here. So let's get the cramp tube right in the more or less in the middle. Looks like it's facing that direction more, so we're going to have to... There we go. Then we're going to crimp the others. Just keep crimping that till you get it the way you want it. Give her a tug test. She's feeling good. So again, we need to cut this wire off right there. And you can see I have a good three inches of extra wire. You don't, don't need that much. So if you didn't want to use that much, you definitely don't have to. So there's one side. Now we will put the crimp on this side, the crimp tube, and the smaller um, jump ring this is to hold the lobster claw on. And then we'll go through our bead, our tube, I should say. There are crimp beads. I generally use tubes. Well, I use tubes because the magical crimpers will only work with, with uh, two by two tubes. So that is what I use. Okay, now get in there with our crimping pliers and crimp that baby. Tug test. And then we are going to take off this extra wire. Come on, you. Okay. There's our pretty. Now what we need to do is to put our lobster claw on this side. We just do that by just opening up this crimp over here and sliding her on. And there we go. Now I do have one more thing I'm going to do. I haven't done it yet, and I forgot to get myself out a jump ring to do it. But I'm going to put this little, um, this little spiral. I'm going to hook it right here to our oval jump ring here as well. So let's see how long we ended up being. See, we're exactly at nine. Actually, even just a teeny bit bigger. I mean, smaller. And this is flipped, but, but so. Nine, nine right on the money. Now, if you had a client that, well, you knew had a bigger ankle, you could make it bigger in the first place. Or if you need to, you can always um, put an extender chain on. So let's get a jump ring out. Now you can put your jump, your little dangles wherever you want 
to put them. You can put them uh, right here on the wire if you want, on the big one. Though if you put it on the big one, you got to remember it's going to uh, sort of get in the way of your lobster claw when it's coming off and on. I am going to put mine right here on the hook that hooks in our, um, I should say our, our uh, jump ring that hooks on our lobster claw. So, there we go now. Now there's our little little dangle on our lobster claw. So we'll have to put these few little pieces away that we ended up not using, but there is our anklet. Isn't that pretty? And as you can see, these are about, they're not quite, but they're just about right down in the middle of these which means they will fall all right, in my opinion, um, as far as when you're wearing this. So, there we go. So anyway, there is our cute little anklet. Isn't that adorable? Make a really big neck uh, bracelet. <laughs> but uh, there is our anklet. Now, in the package, there were also blue starfish and blue and white turtles. So you could definitely put turtles or the blue ones on here as well, if you would have rather had that. Um, it's just a matter of preference. Which one do I want? So I chose the white, obviously, and... Uh, the spiral connector. And the spiral connector goes on your outer ankle bone and then uh, where these fall is probably close to you, the back of your ankle and the front of your ankle. So uh, yeah, this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden and we've made this beautiful anklet using the Thunder Horse Descendants uh, Inspiration um, Bundle Spiral Bubble Netting. Hope you had fun making this with me. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.